Welcome back team! And today we're doing easy, gentle, and beginner's friendly restorative Pilates workout. Let's begin this session on our back. Let's wake up our body this beautiful Sunday with quick and effective Pilates stretches so we can have safe and effective workout. So go ahead and extend your arms away from your feet and give your body feel good full body lengthening and straightening. Take a deep breath in, guys, and deep breath out. Release all the tension away from your physical body and from your mind. Prepare for a gentle and yet very effective and feel-good Pilates session. Let's go ahead and pull our right arm all the way even farther towards the back wall and tuck your left hip guys inward inside so this is two opposite directions straight hold it for a few seconds and definitely don't hold your breath take a deep breath in through the nose and exhalation through the mouth or through the nose just as long as you're breathing and let's switch the direction level your hips and your shoulders first guys and then pull your left arm and shoulder all the way even higher all the way towards the back wall and tuck your right hip closer to the rib cage closer to the chest very good and we're gonna take a few extra inhalations and exhalations right here then let's repeat this stretch one more time so level guys your hips and your shoulders first then your right arm is gonna go even farther, sliding away from your body. Tuck your left hip up. Take a deep breath in. Exhalation, no tension in the body. And go ahead and switch level the first, hips and shoulders. And then left arm is gonna go farther toward the back wall, slide up. And your right hip is gonna be tucked in a little bit more. Very good. Nice job. Now let's take our feet towards the right, if you follow me, and your upper body and your arms and shoulders towards the left. So two opposite directions. Very good. And then we're going to switch to the level first on the floor and then take your feet slightly more towards the left and your upper body towards the right very gentle so fine stretches to wake up our body and let's go ahead and return back all the way to the center we're ready bring our one leg if you follow me your right leg up you can definitely hold your inner thigh on the level of your knee or all the way into the calf or even ankle or foot if you can reach already and especially if you guys are beginners, just take your time to evolve into that stretch. Take a deep breath in. And on exhalation, let's bring the shoulders back. Hold your ankle or foot or calf. Or if you're using the strap, you can use your strap as well or a towel. Keep your shoulders, guys, level. Let's open up the hips first. Nice. And just and pain the soft, neutral, easy, slow breathing. There we go. We will go ahead and take this leg all the way up and continue with the same side. We're ready for that gentle Pilates bicycle. Put your arms right next to your body and release the leg. Like you're picking up something, draw the knee closer towards the chest, extend again. Now try to flex the foot. Like you're picking up something, point again. You flex, you bring it closer to your chest, you extend. So let's maintain a good healthy range of motion, which should be comfortable to your body. And flex, we are not in a hurry. And do your best to keep your lower back guys as close to your mat, to the floor as you can. So we don't stress our back at all or very, very little. And let's go for just a couple more times. This is 
food and breeze and flow guys and pick it up and reach and last one once you will bring your knee over to your chest let's go ahead and give this like a good hug press the front of your thigh your quadricep over to your belly and we're gonna add a little bit more core strength we start to wake up the center and using our first pilates principles our centering breathe in breathe out my beginners or if you have a severe or even minor back injuries you can put your leg on the floor your extended one good job go ahead and grab this ankle with your left hand and we will finalize this side flow with a gentle foot carryover what i want you to pay attention here is to be level guys hold your shoulder blades and your shoulders on the floor and try to look straight up and then maybe just maybe gentle pull on the thing called closer to the waistline maybe not if you're not ready and if you feel that you can't even carry over that foot that's okay as well just keep it outside of the leg for right now it will improve i promise you take a deep breath in and slowly on exhalation extend your arm and create a little gentle smile on the floor your arm is your hand looking towards the left and your foot on the left side your right foot on the left side very nice give another final exhalation through the waistline through the center and let's go ahead and undo this leg we will take care of the left side the same way put your hands on the calf underneath your knee maybe you can reach your ankle right away maybe even your foot and we start to rise up off the ground with the shoulders if that's available of course you can keep your shoulders grounded lower back definitely on the floor and we draw this leg slightly deeper towards the belly very nice let's give it another press or two hold nice job slowly bring your shoulders on the floor use the towels or straps or just simply hold your leg a little bit lower not on your foot draw that leg towards the ground towards that direction it's made no it may not reach the floor today and that is okay level your shoulders guys level your shoulders make sure that your shoulders grounded and your gaze is straight up towards the ceiling very nice we're gonna take this leg back towards the center towards the ceiling put your arms next to your body or any place where it's comfortable or adjust your lower back make sure it's close to the floor as it can be and we release that left leg flex point draw the knee all the way and repeat release flex point knee up all the way release flex make sure you're not holding your breath guys it's very easy to start to hold in our breath when we focus in on the good form this time it's going to be much easier to pay attention to everything at the same time and let's do another four from here so it's equal amount on both sides in reach try to procure full range of motion drawing your knee foot down watch your back guys and let's go for another one very nice once you bring your knee closer to your chest give that luck a good hug beginners you can stay right here totally normal and especially if you have some injuries of the back neck or shoulders everyone else we're going to add a little bit core work here today even though it's our gentle and restorative practice we still want to give the body the good decent sunday exercise keep your lower back guys on the floor breathe in breathe 
forward and slowly release your shoulders very well connect our right hand to the left ankle carry over if that's available and before we go anywhere else let's try to build a good level form on the floor so shoulder blades grounded give it a few seconds up here nice quiet inhalation and exhalation make your body feel good guys and then we're gonna take the left arm carry it over all the way above and create a gentle smile on the floor take a deep breath in and we will hold it for just another couple seconds and grab and return back all the way put your both feet next to the base of your body guys we are ready for that gentle first pilates weight press the heels into the floor especially if you are a beginner we definitely paying attention what's happening in our center your abdomen your center is supporting your core supporting your lower back all the time and then you get used to that so you will start to notice that your posture is better when you walk in you're not slouching your shoulders as much if you used to it becomes a habit to support your back with the core strings with the abs keep on breathing guys keep holding i know i know take your time definitely no weight on the neck at all and let's water breath by water breath release it on the floor we will turn this bridge to the floor so prepare to reach to the sides of your knees all the way up here nice gentle top chin over the chest go ahead and release gently wide breath by wide breath again press through the heels not through the toes reach the hips up inhalation exhalation just like a pearl necklace your back all the way until the tailbone reach the floor and then we lift and again we activate that lift from the very center of our body oh hot guys and thrust through the heels you got this very good very therapeutic movement and available even to very beginners or for the students with some injuries go ahead and release it one more time be careful by bringing your shoulders on the floor nice and gentle guys it's all about control in this practice arms elbows on the floor heels on the ground shoulder blades no weight on the neck and shoulders and come on up final one keep on breathing my beginners if you have to put your shoulders right now on the floor please do otherwise stay with me your inner thighs looking into each other and the other side breathe guys inner thighs looking into each other try to extend your knee fully excellent we better go for one more on each side nice great work we're gonna give this neck a good stretch to interlace your hands just like this guys put your hands at the base of your head where your neck connected with your head lower your lower back even closer towards the ground spread your elbows wide and gently press on that neck into that neck the same time as you do that you resist with your open head and neck against your open hands and then release with control let's do it a few more times on exhalation you resist against guys your open hands with your neck a couple more times all together exhalation resist with your open head and neck against your elbows make sure guys one more time do not close your elbows towards the front keep them outside nice and strong position resist with your open neck 
el hat against your hat. Beautiful work. All right. Take your arms on the side. Put your both feet hip off the floor. Level with the knees. And we will go for a gentle pendulum. If you need to put one knee on top of another, that's okay. You can do that. Otherwise, keep the distance, keep the direction. Distance between the feet and knees. They say, meet in every direction when you turn. And we have just a couple more on each side. Very nice. Try to maintain your shoulder blades, guys, on the floor. Mm -hmm. And one more. And before we will come for the seated position, I want us to press the feet on the floor a little bit wider this time, guys. Take your hands next to your body. Maintain the good form of that bridge. The body weight in between the shoulder blades and your heels stay with me if that's available gently fold your one knee inside then gently fold your another knee after you lift your hips inside this is a great deeper stretch for the hips and lower back if you ever happened to have sciatica pain lower back pains there is a complex of the exercises let's slowly release the hips on the floor including seated forward fold you can include this one if that's available come on up slowly and your sciatic pain will go away let's go ahead and make a transfer to our new position for elbow shoulders definitely one and two another and we continue with very gentle and full of range motion for the hips and lower back. Imagine that you draw in the big circle with your hips. Don't be shy. This is a very, very good exercise. Keep on breathing and get ready to reverse it. To the opposite direction nice job all the way the big bold circle try not to stick to the half or quarter or third continue to imagine that your tailbone is drawing the full circle that's really helpful to ensure the good form in this exercise nice all right let's come back to the center when your knees are stacked one on top of another. Extend your back, extend your right thighs. On exhalation, we're going to draw this towards the elbow or even upper arm, even your tricep maybe. Keep in mind, make sure that you're activating your stomach, your powerhouse, your center in order to draw that knee so far it's going to be much easier if you do it from the center last one mm -hmm. go ahead and reach this leg up and top all the way behind toes on the floor stay guys right there or reach up with the left arm mm -hmm. very good we will repeat this quick flow from the other side. Reach the leg and from the center in exhalation towards the wrist, elbow, or even your tricep reach, guys. We're not in a hurry. We pay extra attention to each and every movement. This is your gentle, sturdy, restorative, beginner friendly. A lot of session when we working on the awareness of the exercise and being very very safe okay go ahead and reach this leg all the way back you can definitely stay and stretch up here guys or keep the left hand on the floor open up over that left which is behind 
natin. Way backward. Beautiful. Come back. We must give our knees a little break from being on the floor. So go ahead and tuck your toes. And for my beginners, if you're not familiar, in Pilates, we give that exercise name upside down V. And in the yoga practice, if you're down for a face window, both of them the same thing pretty much. Relax your head and neck. And we're going for the leg lift, just one at a time. Nice and gentle, reach. And an exhalation back that builds your upper body strings. And flexibility of the hips brings awareness to the core and center. On exhalation, let's do just a couple more, one on each side. Mm -hmm. And last one. Very good. Go ahead and bring your knees, guys, on the floor. Put your right ankle on top. On the left, set your knees a little bit wider and gently dive down into the ankles give your ankles a good stretch guys inhalation on exhalation come up and lean slightly forward this is an excellent hip opener come on back go over to the ankles guys make sure that you give some body weight use the gravity to let the ankles to feel the pressure. Not a pain, but little pressure of the body weight and forward. Mm -hmm. Let's switch the direction. All the way right into the ankles. Right into the ankles. Mm -hmm. And back to the front. It's like your neutral plank. Almost. Mm -hmm. And back down into the ankles. Good work. This is it. Last one. Keep your feet on the floor. And let's undo our ankles and knees. We're going to go on the floor. We have a gentle back extension, guys. We will begin with the hands on the floor. Prop yourself for beginners a little bit further or the body. If you want to add a little bit more challenge, put your hands closer, push against the floor, roll it up. Make sure that you're not blocking airflow. Great, up and open. And on exhalation, moving down until your elbows We'll get down on the floor. Come on up. Brace. Mm -hmm. And exhalation. Reach up. Brace. And exhalation, guys. We have one more time like this. Reach. And all the way. Exhalation. We're going to expand the movement and we'll add length. This is your slow pace swimmer. I like to include this one for the restorative and gentle practice that way beginners and people who is just starting the lattice journey and diving into calisthenics, calisthenics exercises, they can grasp the form. So this is the extension, guys. Start to working with me already. This is the extension, so it's not just lift. Of course, you see arm and leg lifting, but that's an extension as well. Lengthening, and then we go for opposite side. Lengthening, when we go slower, we can really feel how our body reacts on it. Reach, and place it first. Lift and extend, guys. Lift and extend. Breathe, my friends. In opposite direction. Lift and extend. Good job. Let's do four more like this. Lift and extend. And again, guys. Lift and extend. 
one more on each side. Lift and extend, express through the chest. And one more time. Lift and extend. Go ahead and bring your both arms around your body. Put your forehead on the floor. And we will go for the single leg lift with the hands prop. All the way, you reach back. And reach. And reach. Try to focus on leg extension as well. We have four, three, two, and one. Let's bring our arms all the way to the front. And we take our right elbow underneath the left. My beginners, you will stick with the gentle ankle top. So your left is going to go all the way to the left, to the right, and then come back. If you are ready to hold it and reach, I'm so proud of you. Make sure that your shoulders is not blocking the airflow in your neck. And some of you will be able to reach the knees slightly off the ground. Breathe, guys. We will decompress it back in just in a minute. Left guys. Beginners, just do it little tops and return the hand back with the shoulder intermediate and advanced. We're ready for the hold and maybe even gentle lift that knee holds that door. There it is. And let's slowly release. We're ready to make a transition to the seated position. Today we have a few exercises in Marmaid. So what you will do, you will put your one foot up front, another leg behind. If this position is extremely challenging, you can sit any other way. You want to sit just legs extended to the front as a one of the options. We're gonna go for a gentle modification of the sole in the mermaid and then we do a mermaid stretches. So when I say gentle, we go just to the side slightly. We return back and we repeat and again. One, center, two, center, three, center. Try to make sure that your arms stay in the same position. This is a rotation from the center of your body, from the torso or from the waistline, if that's easier to understand, from the waistline. Mm -hmm. And one more. Come back to the center. Take your hand, the same leg which is up front. We take the hand or hand and elbow all the way outside. And we stretch. At the same time, we draw the right hip closer to over the floor. So we make it even. And back to the center. Let's switch the direction. We will go for the gentle sole first. Make sure that you sit equally comfortable on both sides. Take your arms to the side. Make sure your arms following guys the center of your body your waistline don't swing them around we go out we back center we go out we back center and out guys in center and out in center and out give the arms level out center we have three Focus on returning back to center two. One more. Out. In. And on this side. Last one. In. Take your hand. The same which your ankle is up front. Maybe even your elbow. And do your best to keep your arm above your ear, guys. Not up front of the face. And send even your repeat slightly up toward the ceiling. Look, extend it and engage the arm all the time. Come on back, guys. Go ahead and tuck your both feet underneath. We will finalize this practice with a gentle shoulder stretch 
if you can guys connect your hands like this just behind the back if not you can put them just straight back without a bind great and express through the chest little back bend at the same time connect with your shoulders and elbows long extended arms come on down forward if that guys in your practice and come on back up my friends let's reach all the way up inhalation exhalation and of course i am so proud of you team i'm so proud of you and if you're new to the channel welcome and welcome to the result driven people team we're glad you're here make sure guys to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and enable your bell button that will remind you to stay on top on your daily fitness and i will make sure that you will fall in love with your daily workouts rest well guys recover well don't forget to leave me a comment down below this is only my one line of communication with you help me to share the videos with others and i will see you all tomorrow